On April 23, 1967, Soviet cosmonaut Vladimir Komarov climbed into a new spacecraft called Soyuz-1 and prepared for launch. Vladimir Komarov was a highly skilled test pilot and engineer. He had already flown in space once before, in 1964, aboard Voskhod-1, which was the first multi-person spaceflight. Because of his experience and technical knowledge, he was chosen to fly Soyuz-1 as its sole pilot. This flight would make him the first human to go into space twice, a significant achievement at the time. The mission plan was ambitious. Soyuz-1 would launch first with Komarov. Then, Soyuz-2, carrying three cosmonauts, would launch the next day. The two spacecraft were supposed to meet in orbit, dock together, and allow cosmonauts to move between them. But Soyuz-1 was rushed into service. Engineers had identified many design problems, Reports mention over 200 issues, but the spacecraft was cleared for launch anyway. Soyuz-1 lifted off successfully on April 23rd. Komarov reached orbit, but almost immediately, things started going wrong. First one of the solar panel failed to deploy, leaving the spacecraft short on power. The loss of power caused many onboard systems to fail. Then the orientation sensors, which were needed to control the spacecraft's position, malfunctioned. To make things even worse, the communication with ground controllers became unreliable. Without power and with faulty sensors, Komarov struggled to keep control. The planned launch of Soyuz-2 was canceled, as the docking mission was now impossible. Komarov was alone, trying to survive inside a failing spacecraft. By the 18th Earth orbit, Komarov had only one choice, attempt to return to Earth. Despite the difficulties, he managed to manually orient the spacecraft and fire the thrusters needed for re-entry. Re-entry itself worked. Soyuz-1 began its fiery descent through Earth's atmosphere. But then something horrible happened. When the capsule reached the lower atmosphere, the main parachute did not open. A reserve parachute was deployed but it became tangled with the main parachute's lines and could not slow the descent. With no parachutes, Soyuz-1 fell at tremendous speed and hit the ground in southern Russia. The impact destroyed the capsule and a fire broke out. Komarov could not survive. That day, Vladimir Komarov became the first person to die during a space mission. These are the remains of Komarov.